Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Life Redesigned. And this week, Carrie, we got something pretty cool. We are in the Jacksonville Zoo here in Jacksonville, Florida. And more importantly, at this time, we have our mics turned on and we're uh, heading over into Stingray Bay. So stick around with us and we'll uh, show you around the zoo. And uh, remember to keep the mics on the whole time. You ready to do this? Take two. Take two. Oh. The stingrays are found. Look at this. They do offer. Well, you can touch them, but Carrie tries not to do that. No. Look at that. Really, they all come out at once. They're inside cleaning, do a little bit of maintenance. I love these birds. A little baby one in there, too. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one's huge. And we arrived right in time to uh, jump on the train here. This is cool. All right, Gary. So, it's a little brisk this morning. The high in here is supposed to be about 74 degrees. But uh, right now it's still about the 50s. So, 50, high 50s. But the uh, seats right here are pretty cool. But this is a really nice little setup. Uh, Carrie and I didn't do much research. We just knew that there was a zoo in the area. So we wanted to check it out. So this should be a pretty good surprise for everyone involved. You ready to do it? Go again? Yay, train ride! Train ride! <laughs> Around this as a hiding spot for predators such as the lion. Four hawks can reach up to speeds of 30 miles per hour when running. The Jacksonville Zoo and Garden was first built in 1914 in downtown Jacksonville. It later moved here in 1924. We sit on about 120 acres, 90 developed alongside of the Trout River. The bamboo that you're going to see throughout our park protects our animals from noise pollution coming from Holy Zoo Park. They're also harvested by zookeepers and volunteers here and fed to our animals on special occasions. Females named Gabriella and Kapinzi and one male named Archie. Archie is going to be the rhino of Orange Sea. <laughs> the second animal is going to be a American rock python and also our elephant yard. Outside in our elephant yard is going to be our two lovely females, Tandy and Sheena. Tandy is going to be the elephant with Tuss. She's our oldest female here at our park at the age of 41. She joined us back in 2015. Her younger friend Sheena is going to be on the other side. She is 38. Sheena has been here at our park the longest, been coming up here at the age of two years old back in 1985. We also got a young male named Ali at the age of 32. He stands at 10 feet tall in height and weighs just a little under 12,000 pounds. The interesting fact, they actually have an elephant here that was donated Next to is going to be our giraffe overlook Michael exhibit Jackson. home to yeah, our 10 giraffes here at our park. We have two males, Willow, Fiji, Ella Honey, and Rosie. To get up nice and close up with the tallest animals here at our zoo, just walk through Savannah Blooms and go up to our giraffe overlook board dog. There at our board dock, you're able to feed our gentle giants as a part of your... And here we are, pulling into the station. That was a pretty informative little train ride. They have sections where you can get off here amongst the bamboo, which is incredibly high. It is the Asian part, and then there's some tiger exhibit that we're going to go check out as well. Overall, not doing any research prior to coming here. I was expecting a small experience. It's pretty big. This is pretty big and <laughs> super informative, very clean. So unlike our Nashville trip, we're going to check out the whole zoo this time, which is pretty cool. But we're going to go in here. What, what are we see. going to look at? Oh, wow. Rock, water, plants. So this does have, this zoo does is part of the natural lotus. gardens as well. That's the other, uh, it is the Jacksonville Zoo and, and Gardens. So this here is a lotus. Oh, wow. So a total Asian garden here. Uh -huh. We'll go check this out. Dragon sculpture through here. How's that? <laughs> is what Carrie looks like when she's mad at me. 
I don't look like dragon. that all the time. No, not all the time. <laughs> they do a great job of explaining the meanings of different cultures, with their signage and, and stuff. But really, really well done. Now hopefully the camera picking this up here. This is the horned, what was that one called? The weathered hornbill? Hornbill, oh, weathered. And it just went away. And this is a warty pig. It's right. oh, look at this creature here. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Well, hello but there. Look at the horns on that one. For you guys at home that want to know what that is, I'll let you pronounce that right there. So I'll tell you the stresses of YouTube. So I ran into another YouTube uh, couple and here with their family and they're doing their thing. And wow, talking about not having a good time as they, he apparently was stressed out to the point where his kids are noticing that, you know, what's wrong with daddy? Thing that you guys out there, the smaller YouTube channels, heed that and know that this is fun showing these things, but never let this get to the point where it's so it's serious stressful. that you can't have a good time. But rather enjoy views like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. What about? Uh, ooh, I'm already stressful on that. And then we get over here. And then there's the other side. The tiger. <laughs> As Carrie tries to convince me that these otters are cute. They're adorable. I just think they look like big rats. Let us know in the comments below what you think, but I'm thinking big rats. And we get another view of our horn friends over there. What were they? When we used to go fishing, they were like water weasels or something like that. What? What? So funny story for you. <laughs> Back before our full-time RV life, we used to go fishing in the Connecticut River outside of Hinsdale, New Hampshire, on the border of Brattleboro. And it's kind of peaceful, and it's you know this hustle and bustle. And then one day, um, something kind of jumped up and like. Scared the crap out of me to the point where I just basically left the gear, everything behind. Us. Left my <laughs> wife, kids, everybody behind. And I was calling it a water weasel, and it was basically an otter or, or some kind of it was furry creature. Like a water weasel. Like a, yeah, like a water weasel. But it was, uh, that's what those things <laughs> reminded me of. These just wet creature going through the water. But anyhow, enough of that stuff. We don't want to get stressed out. So we're just gonna take in this beauty. If you come for anything, just this bamboo is amazing. And the way, very well done. Very much like the uh, Bronx Zoo, a little bit different. I think this would almost be a little bit better because it's not as crowded as the Bronx Zoo. So a nice little uh, added bonus there. Now let's go wandering around and we'll check out the next spot. Mm -hmm. Look at it. So this is a pretty interesting little exhibit. This is a gift from public supermarkets of all things. But this is a hornbill. Look at this bird. You see how he, he's got like a horn up top and then that beak. Wow. Well, that's got to be heavy. Boy, I thought I had a big nose. <laughs> that's crazy. Really interesting to carry that much mass for such a small head is, <laughs> wow, there ain't got my vote there for, uh, so far for crazy's creature. Oh, well, they're having a well, snack. It looks like the trading post here is closed down permanently. However, well, there's a whole lot of dum-dums in there. Oh, this, look at this, not what you want to run into in the middle of the night. But how about that? Ooh. He's a strain. As we come back through these gardens here, there's a bigger train off in the distance. A couple of things to note. 
that you can bring your own food in. How nice they have these little table areas where you can have a picnic lunch. And they also have a couple of different ticket options. So you can purchase what's known as a general admission ticket for I believe like $34. And it gives you general admission. Or you can upgrade that for like five bucks or so, depending on the day, uh, to what they call the total experience package. And what you can do with that is you can feed animals, certain exhibits. I know the giraffes they mentioned you could feed, mm -hmm. uh, the stingrays, and there was a couple other little areas that you could feed the animals. We chose not to because while Carrie's getting over her head cold, I seem to have inherited it. And the last thing we want to do is spread that to any uh, animals. But I will tell you that as far as zoos go, for the first half hour being here, this is my top zoo pick, period, on the East Coast. So far. It's been great. Uh, and I definitely would come back at a later date when I'm not stuffy and whatever, so I don't uh, get any animals sick. But wow, what an amazing uh, setup they have here. So just wanted to pop that information in there. <laughs> uh, Those two out there again. getting ready to tussle. We meet again. We see off into the distance, we got a couple of fighting. Wow. Wow. Look at this, they're gonna go at it. Thanks. Not quite sure what you call a group of them. If you actually do know, leave a comment below. So I'd love to know. But look at these guys. Wow. If you ever catch them, they do a lot of talking and singing. And there they go, they get riled up now. Because they're still arguing down there. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's huge fish here. Wow. Interesting. This little loop has like a little sweet shop and they have a little restaurant. Now, okay, I just find it really interesting that hmm. zoos serve meat. Like, I've always found that to be rather funny. Like, it's just, yeah, you can get a burger, you can get some chicken, you can get whatever you want here, but uh, it's a zoo. I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> but anyhow, we're gonna go. Uh, oh. Looks like the Jaguars are gonna be off exhibit today, yeah. do some maintenance. But that's okay. We're gonna Harry's go find out. Harry's not available. <laughs> we'll find for out for your viewing pleasure. What the rest of the loop has to offer here. And this here is the Lost Temple exhibit. So we're gonna check out a few of these things here. And this here, oh, this little kitty cat. Wow. Aww. He's taking a little nap. He's sleeping. Try not to disturb him, but wow. He's beautiful. And this is a, yeah, this is the Jaguar. And it is, uh, as is a that? little girl told us uh, prior, Carrie, this is the oh, third God. largest cat in the world. Pretty interesting. Okay. Aww. All set. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to have There's that another one over there. In the RV. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these are small, but I'm yeah, still it's okay. Uh, okay with that. We've got another one. What? Down in here. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very. Oh my gosh. Make my skin itch. <laughs> lost Temple thing is exhibit is kind of like going in something like Indiana Jones. And more than I can see, so like a lot of these. Wow. I have to dig way in the back there. Way in the back. It's a giant snake back there. You see this one, Kirk? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Way in the back there. I see. Yeah. Very well done. There's a green anaconda and an Amazon tree boa. Interesting. My God. Uh, <laughs> it does. It's... Oh, and here we go. Oh. Now you start to see some monkeys way in the back there. There we go. Okay. Just run around. Oh, there's another one. And, oh my. Oh, I'm gonna get some big ones here. Oops, as I hit the glass with, or plexiglass here. But look at those guys. 
Are like they? monkeys. And that's up at the zoo oh. that Carrie and I were at in Massachusetts, Southwick Zoo. Yeah. Had a great little monkey exhibit. And uh, let's see if we can catch these guys yeah. on the outside. But this little exhibit here, this lost temple, uh, as it goes out to the river's edge, <clears throat> is uh, very, as I was saying before, very Indiana Jones esque. Yeah. So pretty cool. But then uh, you're right out here with the monkeys. And. Uh, Wow. They do a great job here, making it very peaceful. Just the surroundings, like, very quiet, very calm. And you have all this of let's see here, squirrel monkeys, black hollers, wow. And then you have that. Whoa, <laughs> that just me as he just took off. I was trying to get up close to him and he just bolted, but wow. <laughs> oh, there's all of them up here too. Yeah. Look at that. You hey, just buddies. don't go by his bum. Nope, don't want to get peed on or pooped on. It's a monkey. Now uh, see, if we can get these little critters, this is a cotton top tamarind. See, he's just clinging to the fence there or net. And here's his yeah. buddy. You here. These things jump pretty quick too. And they have a pretty good leaping distance. I mean all no, National Geographic, but look at that. Look at you. You get over here and say He's hi. Have a little snack. Let's have a little uh, something around. This is the African Forest Exhibit. This. Oh my this people. is where all the uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is where all the action happens. Hey, just trying to take a hold. You really are HB Hunter than us, you know, like human. I know both. Interactive, so many. Like, big old male. Towel competition. Yeah. Towel competition. Think of this old guy. His bald head. And this gorilla here is, it looks like all old uh, cell phones and pieces and. A little bit of tech history for you guys here. Gorilla and Friends exhibit. See if we can see anything. Oh yeah. Let's see what we can get over here. Yeah. All right, Gary. Mm. This is the part that kind of stinks because I now I really wish I didn't have this cold going on Because I would have been able to do this. This is the giraffe exhibit here at the Jacksonville Zoo and You can see they'll let you feed them as part of that total experience package Which is just incredible. What an incredible creature Look at that. But they have a whole bunch and they said they, this zoo has helped birth over 40 giraffes and since their existence here. Pretty neat. Amazing, amazing creatures. And I'll just come around, walk around. Look at that. You go over you here. Then I'll just walk over. <clears throat> Get a little grub. And they're so gentle. Look at that. I just come on up and get a snack. Yeah. And their tongue is like a mile yeah. long. <laughs> really, really cool. <sighs> this is definitely something to do on our next trip here is to feed these giraffes. That's amazing. And just like that, Carrie, a couple hours later, we're at the end of our journey. This was an amazing surprise and experience. This was unlike anything that I thought this was going to be. 
Uh, I think we both had quite a few laughs and, and just overall a great time. If you're in the Jacksonville, Florida area, highly, highly recommend checking this place out. And if you like bubbles, they've got bubbles over here too. But uh, yeah, so if you made it this far in the video, we thank you for watching. We appreciate all the support and love as of late. And uh, yeah, we're, we're over the moon ecstatic about that. That's it. That's all I want to say. I think from here, we're going to go head out because we're in Florida and heading back to Georgia. I think it's time to hit a Whataburger. What? Oh, you heard me <laughs> right. That's since we were in Panama City Beach yeah. and we had Whataburger. So we're going to hit that on the way home. But until next week, I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been Life Redesigned. Let's go get some food. Woo! -hoo.